Hey, this is Adam Gold. I run Funk and Waffles. Um, graduated Newhouse School in May. Owner of a business that serves people delicious food all day. That's my life. Junior year, 923 Ackerman. That's where I lived. It was a big greenhouse. And Niles Attic was a single apartment. And this guy, Dave Kahn, lived there. And he's kind of a goofball. We just, and he's a total weirdo. But we go hang out with him up in the attic. And uh, he had a waffle iron. So one time late at night, you know, he said, let's make some waffles. And uh, we were like, all right. I like to think that I'm the one who said it. But somehow, it was stated in the room that we should put something in the waffle, you know, like whatever he has in his fridge or freezer. And then very quickly, we decided to bring the waffles to a house party that was held in my basement at 9.23. And uh, while my band was playing funk, Kyle was pressing waffles. And it was a huge hit. You know, they were calling up their friends to come down. It was a raging party. And Ackerman 900 Block is like, the band that was playing in the beginning of Funk and Waffles was called Sweaty Pants. Funk, straight original funk music with some funk covers, you know, like R&B from the 70s type. We just pretty insane. My name is Kyle Korea. Make a lot of waffles. I prepare all the batter and I press most of them. I'm pretty much the, the main cook at the place. Uh, it's called Funk and Waffles. I would say I'm more of the waffles and Adam's more of the funk. We kind of had a creative moment where we said, let's throw some more things in the waffles, like some raisin bagel chips and cream cheese and yogurt and strawberries and mints. And we just started creating all these different waffles. To our surprise, they tasted really good. We were so excited about them, we started making them all the time. Essentially, Funkin' Waffles is the name of the business that manages La Taza. So it's not a day and night thing, really. I mean, it, it is La Taza, and it, it is Funkin' Waffles for now. My favorite waffle. Holy smokes. My favorite waffle on this menu is by far the ultimate. It's, you know, my favorite because it's a real Belgian recipe. And when you use yeast, it makes the batter rise. It actually uh, takes 8 to 10 hours for us to get that batter going. We have a, a new special that I invented the other night called the Monte Cristo. It has two slices of baked ham, imported Danish Swiss, one sunny side up egg, all on the ultimate waffle, and served with the pure, organic, dark amber maple syrup. People really enjoy it. Now I get people saying, can I have a pulled pork waffle? Here are some of the savory waffles. We have a falafel waffle. We have the pulled pork waffle with the spinach feta and smoked salmon waffle. We also have a smoked gouda and herb. Coffee and waffles go good together, just like how we realize beer and waffles go good together. Uh, some things are just made to go together. I had the Monte Cristo. My wife and I decided to come down, and uh, we're glad we did. We're sold. We're going to spread the word.